my one of my favorite memories of him was when I was older. That's fine. It doesn't have to be when you're younger. Um, it's just a favorite memory. When I joined the Navy, I went to New York City. And this was this kid that had been raised on the farm in this little farm country town. And uh, I'd been in Davenport a little while, but not, it was still nothing compared to New York City. And at that time that I was in New York City in the boot camp, my brother, GW, lived in Point Plains which wasn't far from New York City. And uh, I was going out to see them one day, and I was going on the subway. And I had never ridden a subway before. So they told me what one to get on from where I was at. And it was a place well known because it was Hunter College that they had turned into uh, weight barracks. And, uh, so I got on the subway, and I got to a place. I called them, and I said, I'm here. I don't know what to do next. They told me what to get on then, and I got on that subway, and I went someplace. Called them again and say, okay, I'm here. Now what do I do? Okay, get on this subway. And so I got on that one and went to a certain place. And they finally, at that point, said, <coughs> Just stay there, we'll come and get you. <laughs> and then what was funny about that, though, was when I was time to go home, I was so afraid I'd be late get back. And they had me convinced that it would be the end of the world if I was late. Mm -hmm. And um, they put me on the subway and zap. I was there. And I had all this extra time, and I was so upset that I could spend that much more time with them. <laughs> okay, what is a childhood memory of Uncle Glenn? It could be good or bad. It's a childhood I got memory. A lot of, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Oh, I'll tell the one about. Uh, we were in school, and he and I. He had been sick when he was young, so we were in the same grade. Okay. That put us in this because he missed a year, so that put him in the same grade with me. And uh, he had come in contact with a skunk. <laughs> and uh, he, of course, went over and sat by the, we had heaters in this classroom and sat by the heater because the heat would bring out the smell of the skunk. And I was so embarrassed because he did that and smelled like the skunk. And of course the teacher sent him to the office and they sent him home, but <laughs> okay, what that is was so embarrassing. <laughs> what is your favorite memory of Uncle Glenn? Could be like from any time. Well, as we got older, he married my best friend. Okay. That was kind of special. And I have a picture of, he loved fish, and he could cook fish better than anybody I've ever known. So eating his fish was a very good memory. But I have a picture of he and I standing together, and I'm holding this big fish and I know I did not catch that fish. He had me holding it, but I know I didn't catch that fish. <laughs> okay, uh, what is a childhood memory of Aunt Marge? That's <laughs> 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 yeah, like, which one? <laughs> yeah. thing that I remember that she and I argued a lot when we were young, but grew up to be 
the best of friends ever. Very close to her when we grew up. Mm -hmm. But as kids, we squabbled a lot. Okay, what is your uh, one of your favorite memories of Aunt Marge? Tell me the story of how she hitched a ride to the base you were at. Oh, <laughs> okay. That, I That's kind of forgot about that one. That's a good one. <laughs> I joined the Navy. And it was funny because when these girls talked me into it, and girls at that time had to be 21 or 20 with your parents' consent. And these girls talked me into it, and I was only 20, and I knew my dad would not sign the papers. So I told him, sure, I'd do it, maybe. And got all the papers, went down to Missouri to see my dad, because I was living in Iowa then, and they were in Missouri. And my dad thought it was a great idea, and signed the papers. And I was off. First went to... Uh, New York City, which was quite an experience. Uh, then went to Bethesda, Maryland, where I took some training. And then they shipped me to California, and I'd never seen a mountain, had never seen the ocean. So that was quite an experience. And then one day while I was there, I got a call that someone was at the entry to see me. And I went out there and it was my little sister who had hitchhiked all the way to California. From where? Missouri. <laughs> and I did not know what to do because I couldn't keep her in the barracks, you know. I went back to the barracks and borrowed money from different girls to get enough to put her on a train to send her back to Missouri. I can't believe she did that. <laughs> um, were there any other family members in the area that you grew up in? Oh, yes. Aunts and uncles. Okay. Aunt Bill and Uncle Rex and their three kids who came to see us quite a bit. And then on my dad's side there was Uncle Tom and his three boys and his sister, Aunt Mabel, and she had her girl and two boys, I think. And I loved to go to their house because they had books. And uh, I can remember laying on my cousins. She was a little older than I was, laying on her bed reading books every time I would go to their house. And we didn't have books at our house. We couldn't afford them. Okay, and who was your favorite cousin? Be hard to say if it was Mary Sue or Tima Sue. Okay. Uh, one of them lived there in town, so I saw her more often, Mary Sue. And uh, then uh, Tima Sue lived in Emporia, Kansas, and it was so exciting when they came to visit. And uh, so I think I probably loved them both. Okay. But families were a big deal then. Family reunions were right. all the thing, you know. The, all the different ones that could come when they'd have a family reunion ever so often. Right. That, that's something that we don't do now that would be kind of fun. It would be. Probably have one next year when I have my birthday. I, I'm thinking so. <laughs> Okay, we want to take a break? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
So I figured. Yep. 